Good morning, welcome to your 815 daily operations weather briefing. Looking at our current surface analysis, you can see we have a boundary draped over uh, the North Carolina, Virginia region, all the way up to uh, the northeastern part of the United States uh, with a high pressure system trailing it. As we see that boundary move into our area late tonight and early into tomorrow morning, we're going to be seeing some associated showers and thunderstorms in and around our area, so keep an eye on that for tonight. And we do see Tropical Depression Fred is just uh, starting to show up on our surface analysis map, so something that we'll be definitely discussing more next week as we uh, start to see that time frame straighten out for when and where it'll affect our area, if it will at all. Looking at our current weather, we're seeing a few clouds out there around 5,000 feet and 15,000 feet. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies. Winds for right now are coming out of the west-southwest at 6 knots. Temperature is 82 degrees and relative humidity is 89%. Looking at our visible satellite imagery, you can see that again we do have mostly sunny skies out there right now. Can't quite pick up the clouds on the satellite, but there are a few clouds out there right now, uh, but otherwise mostly sunny. I'm looking at our composite reflectivity for the day, um, as you can see as we move throughout the day to day, uh, during the daytime hours we're looking to see um, continued partly cloudy conditions and not seeing those uh, associated showers and thunderstorms reaching our area until roughly the 8 p.m. time frame. This model shows them coming in a little after that as this is the 8 p.m. time frame already. But as you can see, uh, they'll be moving through our area potentially slow. Uh, as you can see, that we might not be seeing um, all of those showers and thunderstorms clearing our area until around 4 a.m. on Saturday. So something to keep an eye on if you're going to be doing anything tonight into early, early tomorrow morning. Um, but again, nothing to be of concern for the working hours of today. Looking at our 24-hour weather risk chart. Again, we're going to see mostly partly cloudy conditions today during the daytime hours. As we reach around 8 p.m., uh, we are going to see a 30% chance of some showers and thunderstorms, um, bumping that chance up to 40% as we reach 10 p.m. And then after midnight, we're going to drop those chances back down to 25% through 4 a.m. So our best chances are roughly between 10 p.m. and midnight, but we're definitely going to be keeping an eye out before then and after then in those time frames. And our temperatures today, again, it's going to be another hot one, so be aware if you're working outside today, temperatures are going to be climbing all the way up to about 93 degrees today, uh, and our heat indices are very likely to exceed 100 degrees, uh, particularly in the noon to 4 p.m. time frame, but uh, also most likely uh, before noon and after 4 p.m. today as well. So again, make sure you're staying hydrated if you're going to be outside at all working today. And our tides for today are normal. Looking ahead at the next couple of days, Saturday is going to be partly to mostly cloudy, slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm by late evening uh, with a high of 89. But those chances of showers and thunderstorms are really going to pick up Saturday night where it's going to be partly cloudy to overcast. Uh, we're going to be seeing a good chance of showers and thunderstorms with a low of 72 on Saturday night. And as we move into Sunday, Sunday's going to be overcast to mostly cloudy. There's a slight chance of seeing a shower, but not too much of a chance of seeing any type of uh, thunderstorm activity related with that. Uh, and then we're going to be seeing a high of 78. So as we move into Sunday, we're definitely going to be seeing those temperatures drop down a lot lower than we've been seeing this past week. So it might feel pretty nice out there Sunday if we're not seeing too much in terms of precipitation. And that's all for your A15 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. I'll see you again at 10 a.m. and I hope you guys have a great day.